Chapter 14 Case 1 Life greatly disrupted near death experience a Renfro I left my marriage as soon as I could walk again I experienced ongoing mystical states of consciousness to the point of greatly disrupting my life I began sensing other people's emotions and physical states I dropped birth control and influenced my fertility instead through communicating with my unborn children I experienced major, major neuroendocrine changes, major electrical disruption to the point I had to stop wearing a watch and many holistic medical tests that rely on the electricity of the body do not work on me. Healer after healer in various modalities said they had never seen what they saw was happening in my body, i.e. shaman, clairvoyant, naturopath. I got stopped on the street more than once to be asked with the light was around my head, or from light healers who just wanted to make contact. I dropped Western medicine, despite a shattered pelvis, my children were born at home because they made it clear to me ahead of time that's how it would be safest and healthiest for all of us. My sexuality, libido radically shifted and orgasms began to fill the room around me rather than my body. My family shifted from a middle class normal house to giving our belongings away and living on the road, following intuition rather than society's shawls. Case 2 IANDS experience a number 3 forbidden to speak of the encounter, I have kept it to myself all these years although it changed me profoundly. My parents indicated that I became much more compassionate and far less self-centered after this experience. I was able to almost read people's thoughts I became so attuned to others. I still do this. I also have very unique and close relationships with animals. I have actually been asked to leave the Toronto Zoo because all of the animals I passed came over to stand in front of me in their enclosures. Many pressed themselves right up against the bars or glass and tried to touch me. A woman from another family who was there at the same time as me said that I was, hogging, the animals and their attention to myself, and zoo attendants asked me to wait until no one else was present before I approached the animals. As this happened time after time as soon as I entered a zoo building or exhibit, they eventually asked me to leave even though I was not doing anything but silently appreciating the animals. Strangers, particularly children, still approach me all the time. People and animals have even followed me home for no discernible reason other than to be with me. I have grown used to this behavior and I no longer question it. I also appear to have a very green thumb and plants that florists have declared as dead come to life for me. I just seemed to know intuitively what to do. As an adult I was drawn to healing professions and worked for many years in an operating room and other hospital environments. Now I work as an applied anthropologist with adult students whose learning disabilities make post-secondary education difficult. I am frequently told that I have a calming influence on others and that my presence is soothing. Since my experience I have also on several occasions been revisited by animal companions who have passed on, and I now regularly get help from my mother who has passed on when I least expect it. I feel as if I am far more open to life, nature and that the boundary between planes of existence is somehow more permeable for me than it was before my encounter. I awoke from my illness whatever it was with the certain knowledge that all life is connected, and from that day I have refused to kill anything. I lost my fear of spiders and snakes and I now scoop all insects up and put them somewhere safe when I encounter them. As an adult I have adopted a Gen philosophy, ahimsa or non-violence toward life. Case 3. I knew their story near death experience Anna Cecilia G. Before the experience, I believed that I was very sensible in most things but I never looked much further than the obvious. After the experience, I knew what was beneath the words of people even without them saying anything. It is as if I knew their story and could decipher perfectly when someone lied to me, or when what they said wasn't real. I was able to read the actions of people as never before. I developed a very sharp sense of perception. It's frustrating sometimes because I can know but I am unable to prove what I know until it happens. Everything I heard was harmonious, loving with great feeling. I listened to many voices, many sentences, air, water, animals, and it was as if I had the capacity to understand them all. I felt I had brought with me much information but it was so hard to describe. My way of seeing life is very different to how many people see it. I listened a lot and was never confused, the sounds weren't words, but I understood everything. No one spoke to me, but everyone communicated, I don't know if I have made this clear. I felt pleasure, immense peace, a love that I have never felt. 
I felt complete in myself, fulfilled. Everything made sense. I was finally able to unite all the threads of my existence and understand that for which I had been created and why I was here. I felt an immense love for everyone that was here. I adored the animals, and all creation. From that moment on I could never see suffering of an animal or think that the trees and plants didn't have feelings. I felt that everything had a harmonious feeling. We are all connected, and I felt that there wasn't anything else that wasn't alive in some way. I felt the same towards everyone and everything. Everything was one. I perceive others clearly. I know when someone is suffering and doesn't show it. I know when someone lies and when someone doesn't tell the truth. I feel much more sensitive towards animals. I can't see them suffer. I love nature and animals. I love people that are near me in spite of whether they have been able to hurt me a lot. I don't feel this bitterness of feed hatred. I gave up focusing on the negative and always try to live more positively. Soulmate this is a part of Zindagi Ki Roshni Consultancy. It has been established for those who have lost someone and for those who are very sad in their life. About 100 PDF books and 20 short audio books of this topic will be sent to those who join it. This data will be sent to their email or WhatsApp. If you want to join this organization then please send WhatsApp message to this number.